teeth, put some sunscreen on, and did all of that. And now I'm gonna come back and I'm going to write in my five minute journal. I know I've talked about this before on my channel. I used to mention it a lot, but I kind of fell out of the habit of doing it for a while. And now I'm getting back into it because it feels so, 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 so good to start your morning off with gratitude. And once you do that, it helps you to be thankful for everything that comes in your way throughout the rest of the day. Basically what the five minute journal is, it gives you a quote every day. Today's quote is, we cannot change what we are not aware of, and once we are aware, we cannot help but change. So it gives you a quote, and then it has a few sections below, and you have to write three things that you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, and daily affirmations. And then at night, you pick it back up, and you write three amazing things that happened today, and then well, how could I have made today better? Obviously, like you don't wanna write the same things every day, so it kind of like forces you to realize how much you have in your life to be grateful for and to really look at your surroundings and take them in and realize how lucky and fortunate you are to be even just have a roof over your head or like those little small things that you wouldn't normally be grateful for it helps you reflect on that and starting your day off with that is just really the best thing because it helps set up your day with kind of like a positive attitude so that's what i'm going to do right now category of what would make today great I wrote down going on a walk having a good workout and less time on my phone so it kind of allows you to also set goals for the day saying like what would make today great you can incorporate like self-care in it like you could be like oh I want to meditate so honestly I would really recommend this I'll link it down below for you guys it's in my Amazon storefront I think it's so worth it and I love this thing so much and also being grateful is going to allow you to attract more things into your life and attract more things to be grateful for it just works with the law of attraction so if you're trying to manifest something I would suggest started with gratitude okay so now i'm going to just give the kitchen a bit of a cleanup so there's a little bit of dishes in here from last night and then i'm just going to put away these dishes and also the dishwasher does need to be unloaded as well so i like to do this first thing because i just don't like going through the day with a messy kitchen i want it to be like a fresh start so i like cleaning it and just giving it a little bit of a cleanup first thing in the morning so that i can start the day with a fresh start But I have a few of these that I rotate between that I just every single morning I drink water out of because I just feel better when I'm hydrated and when I'm drinking water. Like if a full day passes by and I realize that I haven't drinking any water, I honestly feel like shit. In the morning, I try to, as much as I can, drink like a full one of these before I eat or have a coffee or do anything. As long as I have like one of these in the morning, it helps me stay on track for the day. And then I'll fill a tumbler cup like this up about like two to three times more throughout the day. And as long as I have like three of these, I feel like that's my daily water intake. So then I feel good about it. So... If you guys are struggling to drink water, honestly, just get yourself like a bigger water bottle or like a tumbler cup like this and it'll motivate you. Just fill it up every single morning and just make it a point of at least drinking like one of them a day and then you can go from there. Having something like this where you can take with you anywhere you go, it's definitely like more motivating and it'll help you stay hydrated. So I used to always start off my day with like water with lemon and I haven't done that in a while. I kind of want to get back into that because I know that lemon is really good to like cleanse yourself first thing in the morning. So I think I'm going to actually start buying lemons again and squeezing them into my water at least like one a day so one thing that really actually helps me in the morning is not checking my phone first thing when i wake up because when you check your phone first thing when you wake up it's like you're 
right away the start of your day is social media and there can be toxic things on social media things that make you feel insecure or the list goes on and so i just feel like looking at my phone and scrolling through social media first thing when i wake up it sets my day up almost for failure and laziness because that's just going to be a pattern that i continue throughout my day is scrolling through tiktok and when i shouldn't be and all that kind of stuff so as soon as i stopped scrolling through my phone um when i wake up it honestly has made the best difference in my mornings like i promise you if you feel sluggish in the morning and if you're the type of person that is not a morning person i would challenge yourself to not look at your phone first thing when you wake up and instead of looking at your phone go wake up and go do some yoga wake up and go do something that's more interactive with yourself and connected to yourself rather than outsourcing entertainment that you don't need first thing when you wake up and it's so important to start the day off with a clear level head so that you're setting your day up for success and yeah i usually wait honestly until like after i'm done my workout and like my yoga and everything and after i've really just done like my morning routine then i'll allow myself while eating breakfast or something like that to look at social media and stuff but first thing in the morning is just not it to be honest it's not it if you guys are struggling with productivity and everything definitely try that because it helped me so much <laughs> Okay guys, this is the little gym fit for today. So I put this on because now I'm going to do my yoga and my meditation and I just follow a yoga video. I'll leave it linked down below. This is the one that I've been into. I usually like to switch it up every few months when I just get bored of it, but I will link the one down below that I like doing now. So I'm gonna go do that. I just put on the video on the TV, you guys will see. And then I'm gonna do my meditation. And then after that, we're gonna head to the gym. I just wanted to get in the workout clothing to do the yoga and the meditation because it makes it more comfortable. Doing yoga in the morning honestly just helps my body stretch out because when I wake up, I honestly feel so stiff. And during the yoga session, you won't even be able to count the amount of like cracks because my body is so stiff from waking up and it just feels so good to do it in the morning so if you guys have never tried doing like stretching or yoga in the morning i promise you it is a game changer and you will feel so good afterwards it just makes me feel like i can actually like sit down and work and do stuff with my day and if i don't do it i honestly feel weird throughout the whole day and i feel super stiff and honestly like i can't move I don't know what it is, but I just love it. It has honestly changed my life and my mornings. So if you guys have never tried doing yoga, I would totally suggest it. It doesn't even have to be yoga. It can be just stretching. Just anything to move your body when you first wake up. It helps so, so, so much in my personal um, experience at least. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel and you're wondering why I have an air mattress in my living room, <laughs> it's because we actually have a couch that's coming. It's coming in hopefully a month latest. But anyways, that's why we have an air mattress set up right now as a couch. We've just been using this as a couch. So yeah, if you were curious on why there's an air mattress here. And also I was just using this weighted blanket as a yoga mat because I have my yoga mat back at my parents' house. So I was just, this honestly works perfectly fine. So until I get that, I've just been using that. Okay, hair is done. We are going to go to the gym. I just used um, this regular paddle brush and then this force one, just to, you know, sleek back the sides. Um, yeah, now we're gonna go to the gym. Okay, 
I just got back from the gym. I put my hair on this headband because it's just feeling gross. Um, so what I did is I just did a little bit of 12, 330. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's 12 incline on the treadmill and you do three speeds, so three miles per hour, and then you do it for 30 minutes. It's such a good workout. But anyway, so after I did that, I just did a bit of like strength. I did a bit of weights. Okay, so now let's make a smoothie. I'm gonna do a protein fruit shake smoothie. And I think with that, I want to have like a meal as well because I am starving, honestly. But I also want to get like a protein shake in, so I'm going to kind of do both. It honestly kind of just depends on morning. Sometimes I'll just have like a protein shake, like a fruit protein shake. And then sometimes I'll just have like a meal. Honestly, I don't have a smoothie every single day. I try to have one as often as possible to get in like my fruits and stuff for the day. But if I don't have one, like it's not that big of a deal. But I try to make sure to have one every single day unless like I really don't feel like it. Okay, so this is what I usually do for my morning smoothies. I'll put like fruit, protein powder, maple syrup to sweeten it, and then I'll put some sort of green. So I actually put kale today. Usually I put spinach, but kale is what we had. So I just use kale. But yeah, that's basically all that I do. This is the protein powder that I use. It's organic, it's vanilla, it's vegan, and it actually has, it has four servings of green made up of broccoli, kale, spinach, papaya, blueberry in one scoop. So this stuff is actually really good. I just got it at Walmart and it blends really nicely into a smoothie, so. Okay, so here's breakfast. I got two scrambled eggs with this toast that has seven grams of protein in each slice. And then I just put peanut butter on it and then with the smoothie. So pretty easy, healthy breakfast. Okay, so after I eat, I like to take my vitamins. So I just slotted it out like every for every single day and I just kind of pick half of them to have in the morning and then the other half I have after dinner. So I'm just gonna take half of these right now. Okay, I'm just about to shower, but I just needed to put you guys on this body wash. Holy shit, it's literally the best thing that I've ever used, and it smells so freaking good. So, yeah, just putting you on this, but I'm going to hop in the shower because I don't want to waste water. But literally best body wash and smells like heaven. It's so good. Okay, guys, so now is the time of the morning where I would get ready for the day. Let's say if I was filming, I was going out, I would do my makeup and I would get in a cute outfit. But since I'm not doing anything today, I'm just going to be at home editing because today is just an editing day. I'm not going to put on any makeup because there's no point because I'm just going to be literally sitting down all day inside, probably won't even go out today and just edit. So today's a no makeup day, but this is the time where I would get ready if I were to get ready. So, but yeah, so now we're going to go make ourselves a coffee. So this is just the fit of today. I'm just wearing these um, sweatpants that I thrifted and this white fox hoodie. And that is basically it. I just really want to be cute, a little bit cute, but comfortable. That is what I'm aiming for today because I'm just going to be like sitting. So that is a little fit for today. Okay, so today I made myself a hot drip coffee. Every single day I have a different thing because I get bored. So usually I'll use my Nespresso machine and make like a latte, an iced or hot latte. But today I was feeling the drip coffee machine coffee. Honestly, incorporating those things that you guys saw into my morning routine has just set me up for success. Obviously what you deem successful in your life is not gonna be the same as what I deem successful in terms of what sets me up for the day. Like everybody is unique, everybody is different. So what works for me or what works for someone else may not work for you. So yeah my best advice is get in a routine if you're feeling in like a slump but make your own routine sometimes copying somebody's routine is just not going to be it for you and it's not going to satisfy what you want in your morning my best advice would be to make your own routine and 
cater to what um, you want and what makes you feel good. So right now I'm just gonna look over my schedule for work and see what I have to get done today and get to work. So that was my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you did. And yeah, please leave any video suggestions if you want to see night routine. Leave that in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Oh.